Hey guys, I wanted to show you something with the directional scanner that I think is really cool and it's been helping me to more quickly directionally uh, run my directional scan and find targets. So some of the changes that have happened recently changed the way I use the directional scanner. So before I made a directional scanning video, and you've, if you haven't seen that, go back maybe three or four videos ago of mine. I made a directional scanning video that will be a good foundation for this video to understand it better. But basically, the changes that have happened are that you can assign a key to push this scan button, basically. And you can see mine's space. You set that by hitting escape, going to shortcuts, combat, directional scan, and then setting it. I like space because it's a big key, you know, it's just sit there and you spam it. And so when if you ever watch a combat video of me, if you watch the one I posted yesterday, then you'll see that I'm just constantly over and over, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. But something else I'm doing in the video I posted yesterday, the come out to play, is you'll see me scanning anomalies. And this works best actually with anomalies. Like this is a good example here. So if you imagine these were anomalies. If you're in NullSec, especially um, upgraded NullSec, you could have 20, 30, 40, 50 of these anomalies all over the place. And there's targets in them, and you've got to figure out where they are. So my old strategy would be go to 360. If you see a target, like say that thorax, go to 180. If you see it, go to, go to 90. If you see it, go to 60. If you see it, go down to 30. And keep working until you get down, until it disappears, right? Right, so it disappeared. So let's tr check this one and see. Now when you're scanning, here's where the machine gun scanning or rapid fire scanning or whatever people want to call it is I'm basically just pushing it nonstop while I'm moving the cursor. Now there is a little bit of a delay, so you got to pause for a second or two at each thing. And then eventually, there it is. So about five degrees right there. Now is it this thing maybe? I'd say large. Okay, let's see if we're right. Go to 100. I can't kill a thorax. I'm in a uh, Fed Navy Comet kiting. But let's just see if we're right. Okay? So we're going, as we're going in, let's drop it to 15. Okay, yeah, he is. Wait. No, he's not here. Okay. So sometimes when, you, when you're when you far away from the target, you'll have that happen. But the closer you get, the more spread out things become. He's at the sun. Okay. So see how, see how easy it was to find that guy? Go to 100, I don't want to die. I might engage him just for fun, who knows. Um, but you see how, how fast it is to do that. So machine gun, imagine if you were in NullSec and you had 100 anomalies. You can just go through them real quick. I wouldn't do 15, I usually do it at 30. And I just kind of rapid fire, go through all of them, and I'm just moving the mouse constantly looking for them. Looks like he's not even here either. Let's see if we can find this guy just for fun, because I think he was here, but he moved. So he's at 60 there. There he is. So what's that? The medium. All right, I'm not going to go in there because he could. He's probably sitting at zero inside the site, but I'll go to 100 and just confirm he's there. So still at 30. I'm, I'm spacing. I'm hitting space bar. Still scanning all the way in. Now he disappeared here, but watch this. Let's drop this to 1 AU. Look at there. So he's in that site. He's actually, let's see if I can figure it out. Where does the site actually go? So I haven't got my camera set up right on this character. Right there. So if I drop it down now, there he is. Because that's the actual site right there. So that's machine gun scanning or rapid fire scanning. It's a great way to find targets really quickly in both low sec and null sec, well, anywhere. But especially when you have these anomalies like that, this, and you see that there's a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to align so if something lands, I can get out. Um, but if you ever see that there's a bunch of stuff that you need to scan, you know, you see it at 360, then you can quickly drop to 30. And let's find that confessor. Okay. There he is. He is at the small outpost, 100%. So it's just that easy to find targets with your directional scanner. Using this is just makes it so massively simple and fast to find targets. It's faster than it has ever been. He just left. He's probably 
looking for me, I would think. Hmm. Let's go ahead and fight this Fed Navy Comet. Just for fun. I'm going to act AFK. Let's see what happens. He's probably with the... Um, He's probably with the confessor, but let's just let's give it a shot. If he charges me, I'll fight him. He doesn't. Okay, so it would have been cool to end this video with a fight. Didn't happen, but you see what I'm saying about the um, directional scanner. It's super fast. It's a great way to find targets. Um, if you don't understand why I was doing this whole 15 degree stuff and the 30 degree stuff, I'm going to go ahead and link my past directional video and it explains how all that, uh, how the degrees work and the range and the foundation stuff. So I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description if you're not sure how that works. But that's it for this video. It's an awesome tip. It'll help you find targets faster and I hope you enjoy it.